Hello everyone, this is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and I have three completed journals. I was playing with wallpaper earlier this week, um, the relief kind, and with a bunch of my distress inks and they looked like this before I started. These, each one is a different design. And I just grabbed out all my distress inks, you know, from Tim Holtz, all kinds of different colors. And I was playing and here I've got a blue and purple one and I'm thinking maybe something with water, um, unicorns, <laughs> um, mermaids, um, nautical. And this one I've got orange and green. Um, it's, I believe it's um, peeled, yes, peeled paint and rusty hinge. And to me, it looks like rusted ceiling tiles. So I've still got to think of a theme for a journal on this one. And then this is uh, pinks and blues and a little bit of um, purple in it. And that maybe looks like a water wavy type pattern. So anyway, I was having fun. And I've got this one. It's um, different blues. And then I also added the peeled paint to it. So it looks a little bit on the teal side. And this one is called Butter or Dragonfly. And then this one is um, the peeled paint and the vintage photo. And that looks kind of nature-like to me, and I call that one Notes. And then this one is Walnut Stain and Black Soot. And I was thinking uh, French farm, French country estate, um, something like that. So I named her Chateau. So I was playing with those and I got three of them finished. So let's do a walkthrough. This is Notes. Notes is the biggest one um, as far as size. She's eight and three quarters by six. There are 200 pages in here and it's parchment and it's not tea dyed or coffee dyed it's just the 24 pound parchment in my library pocket in the front I've got my and the story begins and left room for a tag behind as well and the um Images are from Nick the Booksmith. And this is definitely a writing journal. This little image I got from Graphics Fairy. Nick's images are wonderful. There are five signatures in this book. And I was able to use the whole page, the eight and a half by 11. I used the whole page in here, so that's why it's so big. And it has so much of the writing room. Each signature is very similar. 
what's different are Nick's images. Pretty. Love ferns. Ferns don't seem to do very well at my house, but I love them so much. That's pretty. It almost looks like cilantro. Hibiscus. And the Ex Libres plate. And this um, marbled end papers that I used is also from Nick the Booksmith. So this is notes. Here we have Chateau. And that has 240 pages. And I've used Nick the Booksmith um, Scholarly Ledger and uh, Victorian Ladies Handbook for the Hollowback Spines and all three of these books. And here I have a marbled end paper also. And I used wallpaper here for the library pocket with the card and the tag behind and here's I got a piece of the wallpaper also and glued it on to make a little pocket and here's a seed packet that I got from the Target dollar spot and here is a vintage receipt or invoice that I printed on lightweight paper and music paper, it has a flip out. And the images here for my um, French country estate are from CLM Emporium. And then I've coffee dyed papers. And here I have a wallpaper envelope with a little stamp that I made and a receipt invoice again in the pocket.
handmade paper. And this is the other half of the wallpaper. And if you want to, you can glue it and make another pocket or leave it as a flap for journaling. And this has four signatures in this book. Another envelope with another invoice. I guess it's an announcement. Large display of German, French, and English toys and dolls, fancy goods and novelties, parlor and lawn games. The digital images for the pages came from the CLM Emporium, but the um, digital images for the receipts and invoices that I've used, that came from um, TaylorMade. And here I've got another wallpaper that you, is a flap, and if you want, you can glue it down so that it's another pocket. I'll flip out. another envelope sending you happy thoughts it says with a little receipt And this side I have glued it down so it is a pocket. With another receipt. Roomy pockets. A lot of goodies can fit in there. And the flaps of the music sheets, they could be glued down too if you'd like to have another pocket. And another envelope. And this is 
a receipt for chocolates. Gotta have chocolates. This is a really pretty image with the faint flower and the chicken. And the Ex Libre's plate again with the pretty marbled paper. And this is Chateau. And here I have Dragonfly. And I've got the definition of dragonfly from uh, the dictionary and the popular name of a family of insects. And then it's got the, yeah, I think it's the Latin name. Having large, strongly reticulated wings, a large head with enormous eyes, a long body, and strong, horny mandibles. And then I've just layered it on some of the masking paper and the paper from the kit. And this kit for the digital images came from Stacy's Stories. And here I've got a library pocket with a tag that I layered. She has some ephemera included in this kit and so I use quite a bit of it and I stitched around it and another tag behind and here I have up here is a pocket and I've used the page number from the dictionary page and I've got some copy dyed sheets for the tablet and this goes in this little pocket here in this front. And I've layered and sewn one of her ephemeras on top of a dictionary page, on top of an envelope. I just cut the top off and a thumb notch. And then it magnetizes shut. And inside I've got a little notebook. And it stays shut with the magnet so that it doesn't get unruly. But the reason I did that is because the beautiful paper in her kit was so dark that I thought it would be hard to write on and I don't want to sacrifice the room for writing. And so I got creative. And I used some of my um, skills that I use when I make my photo mini albums with all the different flaps and tucks and hiding spots and the magnets I use are neodymium. They're very wafer thin, so beautiful images. So it doesn't add any thickness. And the paper is dyed with raspberry tea, so it has a little bit of bluish hint to it. And on this one, see how dark it is? That's why, you know, I added the extra journaling space. And on this one, I decorated a glassine bag with the dictionary page and one of her ephemeras and then another um dragonfly card and then I made two tags that fit in and this is one of her images and I just collaged it onto a big tag and I made the tags to 
large enough to fit into the pockets and stand up and here's another of her images and I just typed out the word dragonfly and collage this on and sewed it and just put a cord at the top so that fits inside the glassine bag Here's another of her ima images, and this is just beautiful. Love this one. And I got it on a dictionary page also. And here's another one of her images, and I just layered the little image onto this image onto dictionary page, but then I glued a graph paper on top of it, and then another, so you've got a little tablet here, and you can write the name or date or something up here in this little spot. But I sewed that on so that it's attached. And I know that's not a dragonfly, but I just thought it was pretty and needed to be in the book. And I got that somewhere else. This is not one of Stacy Story's um, images, but um, I liked it. So I've left some for you to decorate too. And on this one, I made a library pocket, and then I have a little, um, the dragonfly cigarette card, and I layered it up so that it's not a lot of thickness difference, so that nothing will get ripped. And I left the behind of it open so you can add another tag. But this one I made from a hanging file folder. And this is another one of Stacy Story's images, the um, flashcards. And so that goes inside the pocket. And here's another, this is the image that I used here. I just size this down 75%. This is how it comes. And here I left the side open. So you have a journaling card and got a little tag, tab on the side. Beautiful. And on the front of this signature, I have another a collage of her images. And this envelope, I've got it folded in half, and it magnetizes shut. The front part has a little booklet. This is one of her images. And I just used um, coffee dyed paper. And I left this flap open so you can stick things in the little tuck spot. It is glued on the top and bottom. And lots of pages. I just sewed down the center with the sewing machine. And same thing for the back. I folded it over and you have a little tuck spot. So this little notebook goes inside the front of the envelope and the whole thing opens up and you have more writing space and then there's a tag. I put a thumb notch here and there's another tag that fits in there.
and that just stays shut with the magnet. And here on this page, I used one of um, the Tim Holtz die that's like this, and I glued it down to one of her um, ephemera pieces, and then a scrap left over from the cover, I just put that here on the panel and just made little tags and journaling spots to fit inside the little slots. Get my clumsy fingers in there. And I left the back open for another large tag. With the Ex Libres tag on that. And this book has 144 pages. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. And it's got the four signatures. And then the end papers I used for this is also part of her collection. So beautiful. And after the fact, it's it matched my playing with my wallpaper so well that it's like, that was a happy accident. But that is Dragonfly and Chateau and Notes. And they're all available in my Etsy shop. I will see you there. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.